In recent time, expert professionals and stakeholders in the educational sector in Enugu State have continued to come up with ways to find a lasting solution to the growing challenges of low percentage of male teachers in schools across the state. Though most of them identified poor remuneration of teachers as the major factor driving the gender imbalance in the teaching profession in the state, others see it as a matter of urgency. According to Within Nigeria, an online newspaper, the situation has become so alarming that even private schools are equally grossly affected. Today, I'm going to be sharing how the scarcity of male teachers is affecting the educational sector in the Southeast and in Ugo State precisely. Hello and welcome to Insights on Crips TV. I am Indu Rajwan. Please stay tuned in as we go on a brief commercial break. According to data on the website of Federal Ministry of Education, Enugu State has 10,415 teachers in public primary schools as at the 2021 2022 session. Surprisingly, out of this number, 8,340 were females and 2,075 were males. If this were to be represented in ratios, it would be 80 ratio 20. I mean, can you see the huge difference? At a community primary school in Agbani, in Suka, out of 12 teachers in the school, there are no male teachers at all. Now, according to reports, the head teacher, Mrs. Cecilia Ugu, in her words, said that since I came to this school some years ago, we have not had any male teacher, apart from the male messenger that is here. There is no presence of any male staff in the school. At Model Primary School, which is also in Nsuka, the popular and the most popular school in the Nsuka Metropolis, with over 60 teachers, only three male teachers are in the school. According to reports, one of the male teachers who spoke on that anonymity said that he was there just to wait for greener pastures. In his words, after collecting my higher certificate from the University of Nigeria, Nsuka, I will apply for a better job. I don't want to end up here as a head teacher because there is no much prospect here. Imagine our colleagues in secondary schools are being paid minimum wage while we in primary school boards are left to Walu in penury. The headmistress of Ekulu Nursery and Primary School, Chinwe Ifeniwa, revealed that Ekulu's four autonomous schools has only one male teacher. Now, she was blaming the deficit on poor paycheck of teachers. Male teachers, just like females, are also instrumental in the physical education of students. For example, in organizing sports such as football, it is the duty of the male teachers to teach them these things. However, some of the female teachers have learned how to coach the boys, which may not be as effective as when a male teacher would do so. Let us also note that male teachers play an important role in enforcing disciplines in the school. There is always a need for a balance in the proportion of male to female teachers in the school. Now, in some of the big schools where students exhibit some form of youthful exuberances due to their teenage age, you will discover that male teachers are not there and the female teachers cannot always handle these excesses and discipline them the way that a male teacher would. This means that the government has to employ security agencies such as the Nigerian Security and the Civil Defense Corps to help keep the schools safe. Ordinarily, male teachers would have helped to bridge this gap, but that is not the case. Reports show that most male teachers appear to not be fully committed to the profession because they are always on the lookout for better jobs or an additional source of income. Now, the shocking part is that even in an all-male school like the Union Secondary School in Enugu, there are more than 50 male, female teachers rather, with only five male teachers in the mix. Imagine an all-boys school. <laughs> Despite the many factors that hinder the male presence of teachers in schools, there is still a lot of them that are very passionate about the job, but are heavily discouraged by the returns. Now, it is important for the government and private schools to look into a way to improve this. I hope I have been able to leave you a lot to learn today. Please don't forget to like, share and comment. Until I come your way next time, this remains Insights on Crips TV.